we are going to do another test about this. Um, I've been kind of having some weird funk. The other test I've done, I was on the TFC page and uh, or the TFC show. I was doing some there, but it's probably because of the hangouts or something. But uh, the first test I crashed in and then you know screwed up my actual test or you know, doing the one seventeen target. Uh, the next one I was lagging pretty profusely, so hopefully this one. Uh, and I'm also using a different recorder, so this one it might be the same. Who knows? But it's another test. Uh, so I decided to keep on trying to do uh, entering this side. So I'm not sure. I really need to do macro for this stuff too. That'd help a lot. I'm getting hit with my VLS. Just a little bit. Doing good so far, it looks like. They are matching speed, so that's one good thing that I really do like. So far, so good. A little bit of damage, but that's okay. Not too bad. Right now, the M charged armor, so that's a poo. That's okay. Kind of like going in on the south side for this part because you can nail all this stuff all at once. And not have to deal with all the mortars. Yeah, I didn't deal with any mortars that time. That's done. So. Let's check out the damage on that sucker, shall we? Yeah. 
dog out here with you. I was earlier today. Okay, so hour forty minutes, not bad. Um, take that out. Well, actually, how much is it? Who repairs that? Let's check that out. Eight minutes repair for that. So that's the miss. I think it was two splash missiles hit me at yeah decent damage uh, range. So that's not too bad. Um. Okay, so this is MX with RA3, and it's 12 minutes. So I'm getting a consistent, uh, the, the better ones are 8 minutes and 45 seconds. This one's 12 minutes, but still, that's honestly not too bad for, you know, having, you know, two charged armors and then, you know, not fully specials. And in fact, I'm thinking about putting on, since the missiles are splash-based, the mortars are splash based, everything in this target except for the original executioner and the um, mastodons are splash based. So I'm thinking of adding Ion Thruster 4 which is also in the TLC currently so that's a good one to get. Uh, let's check the other ones real quick. I don't think I used, I, I didn't use one of these. It was this I use that one. No, no, don't. Uh, that one's 39 damage, and then I use the MX because I haven't changed that over. Uh, that's MX, yeah. And uh, 22 minutes. Okay, so not bad. Um, if you don't have X charged armor, you'll get a little bit more damage because the missiles I do seem to have be explosive. So that's really not that bad of a run, honestly. So let me put them all in without Zelos. Two hours, so that's not too that bad. Uh, this garrison looks like I'm mixed up. So, so the specials I'm thinking about are a three. Don't think I need that much evade because it already has good enough evade on it. But I have this guy on there. I'm thinking of explosive system four. And then what else? Oh, uh, uh, the garrison battery. And then for this last one would be Ion Thruster 4. That's what I'm personally am thinking because uh, with the you know it could they could do the targets easily you know as is uh, can't really chew through the walls and that stuff that as fast. But I'm not sure if there's another uh, you know you could do countermeasure loaders if you wanted to. Uh, whichever, but there's not really that much anything else that can add that adds building damage or you know anything else like that. So uh, personally, I'd say Iron Thruster Four because I have seen a difference. I put Iron Thruster Four on my Fang Tooths uh, instead of you know some people put Iron Thruster Three. Well, I put Iron Thruster Four on it. And it does do a, di a huge amount of difference, especially with the gluttonies and those targets, uh, and you know the other subs that have the depth charge. So I will do a test with Iron First of Four, and one you know, and while well, I'm you know slowly refitting to it, so that'll probably be next week for that test. I'll also start putting charged armors on them, uh, or charged X armors. So uh, I already have one with X and M, and that one is the 12 minute one, but it doesn't have the Iron Thruster 4 on it. So I'll probably put Iron Thruster 4 on that one to see how it changes from 8 minutes to 12 minutes and see if it goes down lower than that, because I know Splash is a big thing in reducing that overall 12% splash damage reduction is it actually does help a lot uh, I'm not sure exactly how much but it can so 
and that's what's my that's what my test is you know gonna conclude for now. Um, so far, I have in full rockets. Not sure if I'm I might add a gale on it or not. It's still up in the air. Uh, I'm leaving it open just in case they do change it, so that you know you can't use zeros in it. Then I could you know quickly do a refix. Uh, you know I could take one of these off and put you know something else on it, like a you know, Kyle Measure Loader three or I've seen some people do frontline countermeasure system, so that could work. I pref I'd prefer not to use that because I think the uh, countermeasure load would be better since it has rocket reload. Even though you're at max rank, you're at 0.5 reload, you do get a little bit of bonus for the countermeasure load of three, um, and it helps your countermeasures too. So uh, if they do change it. Um, would be hesitant on what to put on it or how I would do it. I I do like the uh, these rock the how much rockets I have. I would do maybe three countermeasures. Uh, let me do a mock up, see what happens. You know, just in case. Uh, I would probably do you know gales, for instance, a lot of gales. Uh, and uh, a sprint on each one, and then for those that you know, for maybe one or two of them, uh, I'd, I'd start with one dragon. One dragon, I'd put a phalanx four on it because you're not really seeing that many missiles. Uh, it has nine salvos. Two could probably be, you know, a a good one. Because they do come in, uh, but other than that, and and if uh, if they do make it so that Zeloses can't do the target, then I won't have to worry about driving so much. To uh, I could work on you know rushing it more. Uh, don't have to worry about you know pressing you know down keys, left right keys for the zeros or macros even. Um, but I would still kind of be careful with the destroyers so that I can snipe them out because those uh, mastodons still do pretty decent amount of damage. Not as much as what it would do for the monoliths, the zeros or the icebreakers, but they still do quite a bit of damage. So that's one thing that I'll still will keep a uh, don't rush them. You know, it, it kind of does kind of suck, but don't rush them. It's not worth the damage. So uh, this is what the build is going to be. I'm leaving those two top ones empty, right there. Uh, but currently, there we go. Push it back. Because I was the one to post uh, this somewhere. I and also I might, you know, I don't know if I want to keep uh, the gales on there. It adds explosive defense, so that's always a plus. How much explosive defense am I? Uh, only 86%. So that would still be kind of weird. So, but other than that, that's what I'm going to do. So. Uh, until next time, pirates. We'll figure this target out. Oh, and it just crashed on me. Well, I guess that's the end of it. Thank you for tuning in, pirates.